Hey everyone, this is Joe from Joe's Gaming Lounge, and today we're going to get right into it. This is Flycast for Linux, and what we can do with Flycast is that we can play Sega Dreamcast, Sega Naomi, Naomi 2, and Atomus Wave, all from this one emulator. And here we are at the official GitHub of Flycast, and if we just scroll down just a little bit, we're immediately greeted with the Linux installation, which recommends Flatpak. The best thing about this being a flat pack is that we can use discover to install this application. As we can see right here, I already have flat pack integrated into my system. I search for flycast and here it is. It should say flat pack right here. This is how you know it is. We're going to go ahead and install it for steam deck users. This is also in their flat pack repository. Once we install it, you want to launch it first. The reason for this is that it's going to create the necessary folders we need to move certain other files later on. So here we have Flycast and one of the best things about this is that you can just start playing Dreamcast games right away without the need for a BIOS. Just point to where your games are and then load them up and it will play right away. So that's pretty convenient for Dreamcast alone and I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Go into our settings. To maximize the screen this is the directory that was created when we ran the program and this will be our data directory where we'll need to put our bios files for the arcade emulators here i'm going to add location and so i'm going to first add my dreamcast games just to show you how it works so i added a folder where i have some sega dreamcast roms and so with this i'll just hit done and here we see the roms load up now you can have it in this view, but if we go back into settings, we could turn off the box art game list and it'll be listed like this, which I'm going to recommend for later because this will be a lot more convenient as a lot of the arcade ROMs have like weird different names, but they'll have their actual game name at the end, which I'll show you later. Just click on your game and it should start loading up. And so that's that are alive to Dreamcast in Flycast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this program and I'm going to show you where you're going to need to put BIOS for the other emulation. We're going to go into our home directory. We're going to go to make sure you have your hidden folders showing. We're going to VAR app. Flycast. Data. So this is where you're going to want to drag in the next BIOS files I will show you. So here are a list of these BIOS files you can transfer over. These two are optional as they're not needed, but since I have them on hand, I'm going to go ahead and use them. These right here are the three arcade BIOS you're going to need. AW BIOS, which is for Atomus Wave, Naomi, and Naomi 2. I'm going to copy all of these and bring them over to this data folder. Copy them here. And we're done here. We'll open up Flycast again. So here we have the games. We're going to go into settings. Now I'm going to add a Thomas Wave games first. So I'm going ahead and added a Thomas Wave. I'm going to hit done. As you can see here, you're going to see the zip name. Then you're going to see the name. So this is why I recommend you use this list view to help you pick your names. Another cool thing here is that we can just go ahead and type in the name up top. If I wanted to play King of Fighters, it would just help me find it right here. We have the King of Fighters. I'll go with King of Fighters 11 here. Now, one thing that's important to note here with these games is that you're going to have to set up your controllers. I have a PlayStation 4 controller plugged in, so I'm going to hit the share button and it's going to bring up this menu. If you're not using a controller, you hit tab on your keyboard to also bring up the menu. We're going to go into settings, controls, and you can actually control this menu with your controller, which is what I'm doing here. I hit map, and here on the top right hand side, you want to change Dreamcast controls to arcade controls and make a game config because this will change on a per game basis. I'm going to hit make game config. 
We're gonna highlight the big and broader section here. Here you can configure it to however you like to play. This is especially useful if you have an arcade stick and wanna play these arcade games here because this is where you'll come to map it. So this is all subjective, this is all up to you. You map it how you please. It's gonna tell you what the buttons do. As you can see here, button one, light punch, button two, strong punch, button three, blow off, and then light kick, strong kick, as you can see here. Now, once you've set these buttons up for yourself, you wanna come down to this lower section as this is gonna be a little more important. Your service button, make sure you map that to something. So the service and test buttons, I mapped to the L3 and R3. So this is gonna help me navigate the arcade menu. Your start button can stay as the traditional start button on your controller. And I'm not gonna map a coins because this is what we're gonna use service and test for. So once we're done here, you can back out of this, resume the game, and I'm gonna hit my R3 which is going to bring the test menu. L3 will select it. And R3 will move down on the menu here. We're going to go to coin settings. And here we activated free play. Go down to save and exit. Go into configuration. System settings. You can change the language and region here. But North American English is that's where I'm at. Game settings. This is where you can configure the game's difficulty and other options. Save and exit when you're done. Exit. There are certain games that are gonna have network functionality and it's recommended that you just turn it off within this system menu to prevent any interruptions in gameplay. We'll hit exit and it's gonna bring us back into the game. And this is gonna be common for the other types too. Naomi is going to be the same and Naomi 2 is going to be the same as well. So remember this step for those consoles as well. And now with King of Fighters on the screen, I want to show you guys a quick tip. As you can see, these characters look a little filtered out. One thing you can do to restore a traditional look to this game is that we can go into the settings menu. We're going to go into the video tab and the texture filtering will switch from default to force nearest neighbor. Once we do that and we hit done, resume. Now we have a traditional looking King of Fighters game. This is really good for the uh, 2D fighters. Now we'll go ahead and add the next one. Go into our settings, go to general, and over here under content location, we'll add the other directory. So I managed to go ahead and add Sega Naomi to this list. And as you can see, it's getting quite crowded in here. But once again, up here, we could do a search for any Naomi game that we'd like to play. And we're going to go ahead and play Power Stone 2. The Sega Naomi splash screen shows that we're running under Naomi now. And once again, before you start, go through the same process as you went earlier but I'm gonna skip it here for convenience sake. And so now we're gonna go ahead and add our last section, which is gonna be Naomi 2. So we're gonna go back into the settings in general, and we're adding our location. So now Naomi 2 is added to our list here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a game that I know is part of it. We have the Naomi 2 splash screen, indicating that we're in Naomi 2 now. So now I'll show you how to get rid of this now checking network screen, which will take a little bit of time to start up. Wanna go into your settings, we're going to go into our controls, map our PlayStation controller here, arcade controls once again, make game config. Again, don't forget to service and test. Once you map your controller, we'll resume and hit R3 to jump into the service. Do 
game test mode is where you want to end up. I'm using the test button to select and the service button to navigate. Within game assignments, I'm going to turn off network and the card usage because we don't need it. Check the coin assignments to make sure we are on free play. It'll splash screen again. And then once you're here, what you have to do is press your start button to exit. And that's Naomi 2 running on Flycast. So we ran through all systems that this emulator can play. Now I'm just going to show you a quick enhancement. Go into settings, go to video, and we can change the graphics API here, especially if you have a AMD GPU, Vulkan works best. But I'm going to raise the internal resolution by two. We'll resume. And now that is enhanced 2x. We can even go back in and give it just another one. Another one up. We'll go 1920 by 1440. Resume. And we can full screen with Alt Enter. And so now you have your arcade games with some visual enhancements all running in Linux. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.